It's Monday, February 26th, and yesterday while I was preparing this ranch, I started the day off with a wonderful breakfast of bacon and eggs. I haven't had bacon and eggs in years. But for some reason, I bought some bacon in order to make a clam chowder dish. And then I had leftover bacon. And not knowing what to do with leftover bacon spurred me to make scrambled eggs with bacon. And one of the eggs I scrambled was a double yolk. So the day got off to a wonderful, wonderful start. And then I proceeded to search for something that we could talk about or that I could speak about anyhow. And I came up with this thing, this article I'm reading, and the article is saying, Discharge Mike Johnson. Republicans for the Ukraine create a media blitz calling for the discharge petition against the House Speaker. Now, Ukraine is desperate for military aid, and there are many in Congress who want to give it to them. But there's one person standing in the way, and that's the Speaker of the House. And he has already said he's not going to bring the bill to the floor. He refuses to bring the bill to the House. And that's not right. If the whole House is in favor of something and the Speaker doesn't want to do it, they can't do anything about it. They can. They can vote him out of office. That's what they can do. And that might be what's going to happen. This country is in a terrible shape when it comes to getting things done. I've already spoken about how poorly they have performed over the last year and a half or two years with getting bills passed, etc. This act by the Senate, it's a $95 billion package that would send more than $60 billion to Ukraine for the war against Russia. And it would send additional aid to Taiwan for fear of the Chinese invasion, and Israel for the war against Hamas, and the Senate needed a majority vote to pass the bill. But they didn't get a majority, they got an overwhelming majority. 70 people for, and 29 against. That's like 75% of the Senate is in favor of this bill, and one senator didn't vote. And the bill was opposed by 26 Republicans and 3 Democrats. Right? Now it's passed on from the Senate to Congress, and it's in the House's responsibility to keep this momentum going. And what do they do? They go away for two weeks. Is that how we run a country? When things are tight and everything is boiling over, you take off for two weeks? That's not a very well-run organization right now in my mind. That's a disgrace that they're skipping their duties. And then we have Mike Johnson hanging on that he might not even bring it to the floor. That is not the way a great country operates. Compromise is a key word. They don't know anything about that anymore. Running away for two weeks destroys the momentum that was built up. And Mike Johnson is to blame 100%. He has repeatedly spoken out against the bill. Not because he doesn't like it, but because... He wants to do more on the border. Well, you can do the border. You have to do all of these things. Are you incapable of handling more than one thing? The Senate was able to do whatever they had to do. And they didn't worry about other things. They got something focused and they did it. And Congress... You can't do it because you want to do this thing first or that thing first. Well, you got a bill sitting in your lap. Get rid of it. Stand up and do whatever you want to do with this bill, but get it off the table. It's done. Don't start over something new. Don't start up with the border now. The border is very important. I agree to you 100%, but you don't stop everything because you can't get it done. You don't put aside some very important stuff because you have an idea about the border. 
order. And if you weigh all of these things, they're all equal. And no matter who you talk to, somebody will have a different opinion. So recognize the fact that you're halfway home with aid that's needed. But you want to start from the beginning on the border for whatever reason. And it's plain stupidity. Johnson had the balls to say, the Senate doesn't know what they're doing. They said the border is more important. We'll continue to work on the border because that means something. We want to get something done. Horseshit. They got something done in the Senate. You can move it along quickly. You can work on the border. You should be able to do more than one thing at a time. When you look at this bill that the Senate passed, they took care of three important items at one time. But the Republicans only want to kill one bird at a time. And this is just another instance where the Democrats and the Republicans are doing whatever they can to ensure that the other party gets as little credit as possible. Even with bipartisan support, they're trying to give each other as little credit as possible. In fact, the House Republicans introduced a bill of their own that touched on many of the same border solutions included in the Senate bill. But the House bill didn't include the foreign aid. And that bill passed in the House, but the Senate is doing the same thing that the House is doing with the $95 billion package. They're sitting on the other side, screwing up Congress's package. What a wonderful country. We are masters of the fuck-up. And in this tenuous situation, many Republicans have had the brains to come forward and urge Speaker Johnson to give up on the House bill and turn his attention to the Senate bill. But Johnson doesn't listen. And instead, he continues to delay the whole thing. So now the House is considering taking its matters into its own hands. And that may be the end of Johnson. Republicans for Ukraine is launching a six-figure digital ad in the hope of convincing GOP members to move forward with a discharge petition. A discharge position is one of the many legislative tools that the House can use to override the Speaker's ignorance of the bill. If the House were to get at least 200 agents from its members, then the bill would move to a vote without Johnson's blessings. So there are many who are not in favor of Johnson as the speaker. And if they want to get rid of him, and they want to get this bill passed, they have a methodology to do it. They are not trapped by Johnson's foolish actions, or Johnson's demeanor, or Johnson's ignorance of the way to get things done. We can lay everything in Johnson's lap, but that would not be fair. There's equal responsibilities or equal idiocies that occur on both sides of the aisle. So I'll leave you with that this morning. Another congressional mess. When will it end? Bye. I'm <laughs> sorry.